What's up, everybody? Wonder Von Wallenrod back here with another Nightmare on Elm Street rap video. Look, I'm in the same position. I'm in the same shirt. The whole deal. It's part of my uh, commitment to quality because I realized I overlooked a key Nightmare on Elm Street rap record. And this is it right here. It came out in 1987, like the other one, so it's supposed to be the same year as Crushed MCs, Rock G, and MC Chill, which means it's another one that predated Jazzy Jeff. This is it. It's, it's actually a hard label to read, even if it's not pressed up like this. Because the artist's name, Aid, that's M-C-A-D-E, a Miami bass artist who's been around for a long time, did some fun stuff in the 80s especially. His logo is sort of a white-on-white -white logo, or rather a white logo on a white background. But yeah, anyway, so that's who it is. This is Nightmare on the Aid Street on Foresight Records. It's got the vocal version on the one side, the instrumental, and the bonus beats on the B-side. Interesting point about that. After this 12 inch, he came out with his first album, Just Something to Do. And he doesn't include the song on the album, but he does include the bonus beats, just a short little instrumental track. I don't know why, possibly he thought the whole Nightmare Elm Street thing was too silly. It certainly is silly. Although MC ADE has never been a stranger or adverse to doing, you know, just fun, silly party kind of songs, especially in the 80s. So you would think it'd be right up his alley, but apparently not. Produced by himself. He does all the vocals, as he often did in the 80s, on the vocoder machine. Although, the, in addition to that, there is, of course, Freddy Krueger rapping. He does a little bit of a voice for that. I'll let you hear it. His DJ, DJ Eddie B, does the scratches. There's not a lot of cutting on this. He only he really comes in and does a little bit at the end. It's good. It's not great scratching. The rapping really is not that great either, which is another reason why perhaps he left it off the album. But it's a fun record. You know, it's a kind of a cool beat. And, you know, it's Freddy Krueger rapping. How can you not like a, a song with Freddy Krueger rapping? So the song itself, Freddy Krueger comes on the scene, he wants to take over, MC ADE has to battle him, they do some back and forth dissing. It's a fun part where Freddy Krueger breaks down what ADE must stand for, A stands for anus, and well, you hear the record to hear the whole thing. It's fun, it's goofy. It's got a fun intro here. Yo, Ricky D, what's going on? What's going on? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think you better call ADE. Yeah, yeah. I like that his number is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Hello, ADE, ADE. Who is this? It's a DJ, AB. Man, there's this guy trying to take over. Who? I don't know his name. His name is Freddy. Freddy's the name. Next time, get the name right. ADE, of course, served them at the end, and it wrapped up with another skit with Freddy Krueger saying, yeah, you haven't seen the last of me, and he laughs. Okay, so you heard a sample. One thing that's interesting to note before we get out of here is the instrumental has the same skit at the opening, but it's different in the sense that it's uncensored. The 12-inch actually, apparently, is censored, but not the instrumental version. You'll hear what I mean in a second. Oh, yeah. It's right here at the end on the Freddy Krueger part. Next time, get the name right, bitch. <laughs> See, he doesn't say bitch on the other version, only on the instrumental. So that's about it. MC ADE, Nightmare on ADE Street, 1987, another classic Freddy Krueger rap record. I made a point in my previous video, sometimes you might not have been familiar with all of them because they're all sort of regional. You know, you had New York, obviously, you had the Crushing MCs in Michigan, and this is, of course, Florida. So, you know, again, New York heads might not have heard this, Florida heads probably heard this, but probably wouldn't have heard MC Chill or Rock G, but it's fun now to be able to go back and listen to them all. So now that really completes the saga of Nightmare on Elm Street rap records. I'm sorry I didn't get the whole thing in for Halloween, but now it's a nice little trilogy. So, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed the other ones. Seek out all the records. They're worth having, and you know you can get them all pretty cheap, which is very nice. Alright, peace out.